I'm back with another video and today I thought I would share with you how it's going with my diamond painting nesting doll keychains and there is something that I did discover with them and maybe it won't happen to you but if it does then you can decide what you'd like to do um, just using a little creativity it's an easy enough fix but it just depends on which way you'd like to go now two of them are perfect but these three are not and I'll show you what I mean here's the perfect one and as you can see the doll has the area here where you place your last drill on it you can see there's a margin all the way around that helps so that when you place your drill in there that there's no area extra that you're going to flick it you know off it's um it has enough margin to protect it to keep it on and keep it glued on so you can see on both sides you have that perfect margin all the way around this here's where the drill goes here and so you have that extra space and I mean it does get close at some times but you can still see there's a margin where it's still protected so this is a perfect one this one here you have this and you can see how it's you've got the margin all the way around so it's fine this side you can already see ooh, this is a really large area here that's not so large on this side and then when you come down here you start running off the edge and so what's going to happen is when you put your drill in there it's too close to the edge and it's going to hang over and it'll be so easy to flick it off whether it's with your hand your finger another object anything and here they don't even fit that they're going to stay secure on. I don't even know if you use a heavy bonding glue if it will help to get them to secure on when they're off a little bit. And if you do put them on and they hang over a little bit, on this side you're going to see that hanging over and you're going to see that silver backing. And that's up to you if that's alright with you how you'd like to see that or not. So it's a little problem of it just not being right. This one is done and it's beautiful. I love it. This is the good side and then this is the not so good side. And I think you can automatically see how on this side you can see that little bit of margin. It's little bit but when you're over here well there's a little bit to pretty much none and over here there's a large larger margin so that means that the pattern was shifted down and over I know I did it wrong <laughs> with my pointer but you know what I'm saying and so here you can't get the drills to fit in on this area here because there's only half of it is available space to place it on and here this one is shifted too far down that you can't even get the drills around here so that's in the way and so basically that's either you do it just like this and leave it and accept it you know but I'd use like if this here is blue I'd probably try to put a blue permanent marker on there maybe I don't know um, or maybe using a piece of ribbon or beads a string of beads and you glue it right on the edge all the way around so that it kinda covers that up a little tiny bit you know something with lace and beads or ribbon and beads or just a string of beads if it can you know hide that that would be one of the fixes um, like I said the one of the fixes could be just do it like this and leave it if it doesn't bother you 
and just use a really heavy bonding glue to keep that in place. You can decide not to do this bad side and take the plastic off, expose that glue, and take something like, you know, a box and it'll glue right down onto the box and make it a pretty, um, pretty thing, you know. Or anything else you would like to embellish with this, you could do that where the back side wouldn't be showing. And so that's a solution. The other thing which might be a little difficult to do is to take the good side, photocopy it on a color printer and or color copier and um, then you cut it out and paste it on the wrong side in the proper position so that you'll be able to get all your drills on and you'll have that margin all the way around the whole item and that might be a little bit more difficult and tricky for a lot of us but you would just take off this expose the glue let it um, adhere down flatten out and then you use your bonding glue to put in all of your drills. Now one thing that I did find out in doing with this, I didn't actually find it out, it kind of made sense to me, is to place in the larger drills or rhinestones first and then go down in size because it's a tight squeeze once you start putting in the big ones you'll see it kind of overlaps a little bit and it's harder to get them in so it's better to get the big ones in first and then work around to have a little wiggle room there with that okay so that's going to be it for this particular video I do hope that when you get any of these that they work out just fine where you're doing the front and the back and they're matched up perfectly but if not, you know, work with it a little bit. See what you can do creatively to save your project and turn it into something even other than what it was designed for. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.